Good morning, Wizards, and happy Tuesday, May 12th. Welcome back to Virtual Learning. I hope everybody had a good three-day weekend, and we'll get back into um, our learning links this week. A couple announcements before we do, and before I read the Robert Hudson plots. A um, couple important announcements. Uh, first, most importantly, and you'll be getting information from Mrs. Hansen on this, uh, as well as emails coming up uh, throughout the next couple weeks, um, the pickup of all supplies from the classroom, from your desk and from your lockers, um, is going to be June 10th from 11 to 1 o'clock. My class will be uh, gathering their materials outside of the doors by the copy room. So not the cafeteria doors, but they're where the copy room would be. So I guess the easiest way to describe that would probably be where the extra playground is, um, by the softball field and behind the baseball field, uh, the doors, not by the cafeteria, but the copy center. So Mr. Wisner will be there and we'll have a cart and we'll have everybody's name on a bag and you'll be getting it there. So what we're going to do is Mr. Wisner is going to go in, um, in the next couple weeks, I'm going to go through everybody's locker. I'm going to go through everybody's desk and we're going to put everything into a bag and, um, we're going to have your name on the bag and you will come by and pick it up off. Uh, included in there would be um, if anybody ordered yearbooks or any other important information um, that needs to be handed out to you will also be in that bag. So um, anything in your locker, anything in your desk, I will throw into that bag and you will be able to pick it up. So that'll be June 10th for parents and students uh, from 11 to 1. And I'm encouraging all students to come that day as well. Um, so we can at least say goodbye. Um, we also try the last week of school, um, rather than do FaceTime, I'll try to open up uh, meetings. We'll try to do a Zoom meeting with the girls and the boys separate and then together. So um, rather than doing the FaceTime and the emails and the phone calls, the last week of school, uh, that Monday and Tuesday, uh, before you come and pick up supplies, we'll try to do some type of Zoom meeting, but that'll be in the future, okay? So June 10th, 11 to 1. Also, parents, in the next uh, week or so, you will see a survey coming home. It'll probably come through my email, um, but it's being sent out through the administration about um, virtual learning um, and getting some feedback from all the parents on that. Okay. Um, so Tuesday, May 12th here, let's go through the schedule, and uh, then we'll get into the robber. Um, June 10th, 11 to 1, watch for surveys. Um, and Tuesday's learning links, math, Dreambox or ABC, uh, or you can do any three pages from the four learning packets. When you look at the slides, you'll see the four learning packets for math. Uh, reading, we're going to be talking about character traits and how characters change as they progress through the book. So as, and we're going to look at um, Mercy Watson. Uh, I know that book's getting old, but we're ready to move on from that shortly. But I want you to look at those slides and think about positive and negative traits um, throughout that story in terms of that character. What are some positive traits? What are some negative traits? And how does it change um, as Mercy Watson progresses through the book? Um, there'll be brain breaks as well. Okay. Uh, for writing, uh, we're getting into poetry now. Poetry is, um, is everywhere. So you'll see a link and a slide from Mrs. Uh, Waldock. She's recorded herself. And then the rest of the week, you'll see videos from Mr. Wisner as I've recorded myself giving you different types of poems, showing examples of different type of poems like um, haikus, acrostic poems, and limericks. You'll see that. So watch for Mrs. Waldock today um, as we kick off poetry. Spelling uh, for today is going to be um, baseball words. Uh, the good news yesterday, uh, for those of you that didn't hear, it sounds like they're going to try to have a major league season, an abbreviated season. Um, where uh, the season would be shortened up by a certain amount of games. We wouldn't be able to go to the games, but hopefully we'd be able to watch them on TV. So hopefully that good baseball news um, means that we're gradually going towards more of an opening up of um, everything in society. So uh, spelling baseball fever words, you'll see on the slides, words that have to do with baseball. We encourage you to write those in a notebook or to do uh, sidewalk chalks on those. And then... Um, Found the enrichment activities that are in there as well. Okay, so Tuesday, May 12th. Good to see, good to be back, Wizards, here and 
Let's continue with the Robert Hudson plots. Further adventures of the Robert Hudson plots. We left off with him escaping jail. And you know right where he went? Grandmother's house. Remember her glasses were steaming up. Give me those sausages and that sauerkraut. I'm hungry. Casper's grandmother was furious. Is this some sort of joke, Chief Inspector? The man interrupted her roughly. No fuss, grandmother. Or don't you know who I am? Put on your glasses and look sharp here. All right, all right. Grandmother wiped her glasses and put them on. The next moment, she went white as a sheet. Good gracious me, it can't be you. I thought you were locked up. You've been in jail for 14 days. I was, but now I'm out, grandmother. But how did you get a hold of that uniform? That's Chief Inspector Dimplemoser's uniform. The, Milan, the man in the policeman's helmet started to laugh. He knows all about it, Granny. Now bring me those sausages and that sauerkraut, or I'll teach you a lesson as sure as my name is Robert Hotzenplatz. Casper's grandmother glanced at the kitchen clock. It was eight minutes past twelve. Wherever could Casper and Seppel be? She took a plate off the dresser and put a sausage and spoonful of sauerkraut on it. One solitary sausage? The robber's fist crashed down on the table. Are you out of your mind? I want all the sausages in that pot, not just one. There was nothing for grandmother to do but put all the sausages on his plate and place the hot pot of sauerkraut right beside them. That's right, said Hudson Plot, and he told grandmother to sit at the table with him. Just so you don't try anything silly. There we are. So grandmother had to sit down and watch Hots and Plots attack all the sausages. Here's a picture of the robber Hots and Plots eating the sausages. With grandmother looking on, you can see the pot of sauerkraut as well. And then I think she faints. I think she faints. We're going to find out here as I continue to read. He means business. There were nine sausages altogether. She always fried nine sausages on Thursday. He gobbled up all of them, munching noisily, and ate the sauerkraut straight out of the pot without even a plate. It made a mess on the tablecloth, but that didn't worry him one bit. Ha, that tasted good, he grunted, when he had finished up all the sausages and the sauerkraut. That really did taste good, Grandmother. Now you listen to me. It's exactly quarter past twelve by this kitchen clock. You're going to sit here for ten minutes. And you're going to keep quiet, as quiet as a mouse. Do you hear me? When the ten minutes are up, you can call for help, if you'd like. But not a moment sooner. Do you understand, Granny? Grandmother did not answer. Hey, you! shouted the robber Hudson Plots. Did you hear what I said? Why don't you say something? She just sat in that chair, not moving. At that very moment, when Hudson Plots polished off the last sausage... Grandmother had fainted away, partly from fright and partly from her anger and rage. There she is as she fainted. All right, the next chapter. Let me out. Let me out. So we'll get to that next time I talk to you on Wednesday, May 13th. So again, just to wrap up, those are your learning links. Pay attention to the slides that you see. Uh, you'll see something from Mrs. Nordstrom and specials as well. Be watching for announcements on the Ben Franklin website from Mrs. Hansen regarding end of the year. But as a heads up, June 10th, 11 to 1 o'clock will be the Wisner pickup. And you will be picking up your bag of items on the south side of the building. Uh, kind of like where center field would be for the girls softball field or behind home plate of the baseball field. June 10th, 11 to 1. And also be watching for a survey coming home. We'd like some feedback from parents on virtual learning. Until Wednesday, Wizards. We will talk to you again soon. This is Mr. Wisner. Bye-bye.